Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be a quick and easy tutorial on spot concealing. I'm going to show you guys how to cover up acne scars, blemishes, or any of those imperfections you want to cover up using the spot concealing method. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You guys always comment and say how lovely my skin is, how flawless it is, and that I've got it really easy. So I'm going to prove you guys wrong today and take this off and show you guys what's on underneath. I am pretty spotty today and I will be for the next couple of days and this is because I got laser for my freckles and sunspots yesterday. So I've got this connect the dot thing happening on my face and I thought it'd be a really good opportunity to film this tutorial for you guys. So all my makeup is off now and you guys can see my skin underneath. It is looking pretty spotty right now. But I used the spot concealing method earlier to cover it all up. So if you guys have any spots like this or acne or scars or imperfections you want to cover up, keep watching and I'm going to show you guys my spot concealing method. <laughs> going to go in with a foundation first. Now for foundation you want something that's pretty long wearing and that's going to stay in place all day with a medium or fuller coverage. So today I've got two options for you. One is a high end foundation, the other one is a drugstore. The first one I have here is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour stay fresh foundation and it says here it fights makeup meltdown and it's pretty true this foundation stays on all day and it's very long wearing and I really like the texture and coverage of this one. So this is a great drugstore foundation. Now the other product I have is a higher end foundation so this one is the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup. So this foundation is also very long wearing. I like to use it for a lot of my brides who obviously need makeup to last all day. The coverage is also really good and the texture is um, not too bad. It still looks like skin. You just need to blend it out really well with the beauty blender. For today, I've decided to use the L'Oreal 24 hour infallible foundation. So the drugstore option and I'm gonna apply it with a beauty blender. So I'm just going to work that into my skin how I normally would. So just using patting motions to really get that foundation on and blending it out as I go. Now foundation isn't meant to cover up all your blemishes. It pretty much just knocks out about 70 to 80 percent of your imperfections and then after we can go in and spot conceal the areas that we need to. Now I have my foundation on but you can still see the spots showing through slightly. So that's where I go in with my concealer and I spot conceal. Now spot concealing is what it sounds like. We're just concealing the spots that need to be covered. I'm not going to apply another layer of foundation because that's going to make my makeup thick and cakey and heavy and I don't want that. So the best option is to spot conceal. The concealer I'll be using today is the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer. Now this baby is waterproof and it's a liquid concealer so it's really blendable and easy to apply. And I'll be using a very special brush. This one is from Sigma. It's the Angled Pixel Concealer Brush F69. So this one is perfect to conceal small spots. So perfect for the size that I'm working with. And it's really easy to blend the concealer with this. So I'm gonna pop some of the concealer onto this brush. Now I need to mention that when choosing a concealer, you need to choose a color that's gonna match your foundation so that everything blends through. You don't wanna go lighter or darker because that's gonna draw attention to the spots. You wanna match your concealer to your foundation. So let's start off with this little guy here. I'm going to just pat the concealer on top of that and by patting it on you get more coverage instead of moving it around you just want to use a patting motion. So I'm just going to pat that on and then to blend it out I'm just going to grab my beauty blender and again pat that on top just to blend the edges out. And ta-da it's gone! Okay, so I'm gonna do that to the rest of my spots. And it's pretty simple. It is a little bit tedious if you have this many spots, but this is gonna make your makeup less cakey and your skin still look like skin. You don't want that thick, heavy makeup. Once I'm done with spot concealing, I'm going to go in with my translucent powder from Laura Mercier and I'm going to set my base. 
For this step, I'm just gonna use the same beauty blender I used before and I'm just going to grab some of that powder and press it into my skin. I'm using a pressing motion because I don't wanna move any of the concealer that I placed underneath, otherwise my spots are gonna show through again. So I'm just patting that into my skin to set my base. And voila, my spots are no longer visible. They're like, poof, gone. <laughs> so this is a really easy and simple technique to incorporate in your everyday makeup, especially if you have any spots or little blemishes you wanna cover. This is a really simple and effective technique. So I hope you guys have enjoyed another one of my tutorials. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. So join my family. That way you're gonna get updated with future tutorials. And I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.